Big news for anyone navigating the Canadian immigration system. The latest IRCC processing times have just been released for October 2024, and these updates could make all the difference in your plans, whether you're applying for permanent residency, a work permit, a study permit, or even family sponsorship. Knowing the latest timelines is crucial to setting realistic expectations and making informed decisions for your next steps. In this video, we're going to break down the updated processing times across all major categories, including citizenship, PR cards, economic immigration, and temporary residency. By the end, you'll have a clearer picture of how long your application might take and what to expect moving forward. Before we dive in though, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay updated on all the latest immigration news. And if you know someone who could benefit from this info, share this video with them, they'll thank you for it. Alright, let's jump right into the details. Why are IRCC processing times important? Every month, IRCC updates its processing times for various immigration applications to provide transparency for applicants. By tracking these updates, you can get a clearer picture of how long your application might take, plan accordingly, and avoid any surprises. IRCC regularly publishes these updates, and some categories, such as permanent residency cards, are updated weekly. So, if you're a student, worker, or sponsor, it's essential to stay informed to understand where you stand in the process. Now, let's look at the most recent processing times for different immigration categories. Citizenship Processing Times, updated monthly. As of October 8, 2024, the processing time for citizenship grants has decreased to six months, which is a significant reduction of one month since September. This means applicants seeking citizenship now have a slightly faster timeline to look forward to. On the other hand, the citizenship certificate, proof of citizenship, has seen an increase, now taking four months, one month longer than it did in September. For those renouncing their Canadian citizenship, the timeline remains unchanged at 16 months, while those conducting a search of citizenship records will now face a 12-month wait, an increase of one month since the previous update. In terms of acknowledgement of receipt, AOR, letters, IRCC has started sending them out for citizenship applications received in the week of September 20, 2024. If you applied around that time, you should be receiving your acknowledgement soon. Permanent Resident, PR, Cards Processing Times, Updated Weekly Moving on to Permanent Residency, PR, Cards, there's good news for those applying for new PR cards. The processing time has been reduced slightly, now taking 24 days on average. This is a small but positive change, shaving off one day from the previous update on September 24th. For those renewing their PR cards, the processing time has also decreased by 5 days, now standing at 65 days. These reductions may seem minor, but in the world of immigration, every day counts. Family Sponsorship Processing Times, Updated Monthly Family sponsorship remains a vital path for many, and IRCC has provided updated timelines for October 2024. Let's break down the numbers. For spouses or common-law partners applying from outside Canada, excluding Quebec, the processing time remains steady at 10 months. This hasn't changed since the last update, but the overall wait time has increased by three months since July 3rd. For spouses or common-law partners inside Canada, the timeline sits at 13 months, unchanged since the last update. For those applying from within Quebec, the processing times are significantly longer, 27 months for inside Canada applications and 35 months for outside Canada applications. These numbers have not changed since the last update, but there's been an overall increase of 2 to 3 months since midsummer. If you're sponsoring your parents or grandparents, expect to wait 24 months if you're outside Quebec, and a whopping 48 months if you're in Quebec. Unfortunately, there have been no changes in these timelines since the last update. Economic Immigration Processing Times, updated monthly and weekly. If you're applying through economic immigration programs, here's what you need to know. For the Canadian Experience Class, CEC, and Federal Skilled Worker Program, FSWP, processing times remain steady at five months. No changes have been reported since the last update, giving applicants a clear idea of what to expect. For the Provincial Nominee Program, PNP, through Express Entry, the timeline is also unchanged at 6 months, while non-express entry PNP applications will take 12 months to process. Other key programs, like the Atlantic Immigration Program, AIP, and the Startup Visa, have seen slight increases in their processing times. AEP applications now take 8 months, while Startup Visa applications stand at 40 months, unchanged from the last update but with an overall increase of 2 months since the summer. It's also worth noting that Quebec business class applications have increased by two months, now taking 49 months. 
For federal self-employed individuals, the wait time remains 48 months, with a one-month increase since the summer. Temporary residency processing times, updated weekly. Temporary residency applications, such as visitor visas, work permits, and study permits, are updated weekly, so let's dive into the latest numbers for October 2024. If you're applying for a visitor visa from outside Canada, the processing time varies significantly based on your country of residence. For example, applicants from India can expect a wait of 114 days, which is an increase of 12 days since the last update. Those applying from Nigeria now face a processing time of 175 days, a one-day increase from the previous report. On the other hand, applicants from the United States have seen their processing time reduced to 32 days, down by two days. For Pakistan, the wait has dropped to 24 days, a reduction of three days. Similarly, the Philippines has experienced a decrease, with processing times now at 19 days. If you're applying for a visitor visa from within Canada, the processing time remains unchanged at 27 days. When it comes to super visas for parents and grandparents, processing times vary by country. India has seen the most significant increase, now standing at 107 days, which is 20 days longer than the previous update. Study permit processing times, updated weekly. If you're an international student, it's crucial to stay updated on study permit processing times, as they can change week by week. As of October 1, 2024, students from India are facing a seven-week processing time, which is an increase of one week from the last update on September 24. For students from Nigeria, the wait has also grown to 10 weeks, marking a one-week increase as well. Applicants from the United States are now looking at a longer 14-week processing time, up by two weeks since the previous update. Meanwhile, Pakistan has seen an increase to 11 weeks, which is two weeks longer than before. On the other hand, students from the Philippines are seeing shorter wait times, with the processing time reduced to six weeks, one week faster than in September. For students applying from within Canada, the processing time has risen to 17 weeks, up by one week since the last update. Extensions for study permits are currently taking about 131 days to process. Keeping track of these changes can help you plan more effectively for your studies in Canada. Work permit processing times, updated weekly. Finally, let's talk about work permits, where the wait times can vary significantly depending on the country of application. For applicants outside Canada, the most recent updates are as follows. If you're applying from India, the processing time has increased slightly to 28 weeks. In Nigeria, the wait time has surged to 23 weeks, up by 8 weeks from the last update. For those applying from the United States, there's better news. The processing time has dropped to 10 weeks, a reduction of 4 weeks. Applicants from Pakistan now face a wait time of 20 weeks, which is 3 weeks longer than before. Meanwhile, the processing time for Philippines has improved, now down to 9 weeks. For those applying from within Canada, the processing time for online work permits has increased to 138 days, up by 10 days. If you're applying under the International Experience Canada program, you can expect a 5-week wait. And that's a wrap on the latest IRCC processing times for October 2024. As you can see, processing times continue to fluctuate, so it's essential to stay updated to avoid any surprises. Remember, these times are estimates and may vary based on individual circumstances, but having a clear idea of the current timelines can help you plan your next steps more effectively. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any important updates on Canadian immigration. And if you know someone who's looking to work in Canada, share this video with them, they'll thank you for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.